Just have it's so good. Folks, this is sustainable fishing in the finest. If we can come down here, we can choose the biggest scallops, we leave everything else behind, there's no white catch, and boats like this on over here. That's a commercial boat, they'll come down, they'll dredge the absolute shit out of the bottom of the out of the bottom of the ocean, pick up everything that they can find. Oysters, scallops, sponges, starfish, everything. And there is a ton of bycatch that happens from that process. Now that video was filmed right in the heart of scallop season last winter down in Tassie. So uh, my buddies Glenn and Bridget and I all went out the boat, went for a dive, bagged out on scallops. Um, now scallops are my absolute favorite seafood. These are some beautiful Queensland tall scallops and also uh, we got some nice shucked ones here. Now usually my favorite way to eat them is just to eat them plain, raw like that. Um, straight out of the shell is best I reckon. Bit of salt on there, straight down the hatch. So good. 
However, when I cook them, my favorite way is to use this thing here, blow torch, get it absolute screaming hot, just torch the top of them and the inside's still raw. They're gonna be sweet, they're gonna be delicious, they won't be chewy, they won't be overcooked at all. Um, and they literally just melt like butter in your mouth. However, I'm gonna show you guys my absolute favorite dish to cook with scallops. Um, it's this sort of Japanese inspired dish, so it's a bowl of beautifully seasoned rice, thinly sliced scallops on top, blow torched, a bit of sauce over the top, finished with some spring onions. It is so good and it's super easy and it has a handful of ingredients. So this recipe is an absolute cinch to make. Firstly, you're gonna need some beautiful fresh scallops. Um, these have come straight out of the shell. You want nothing that's been sitting around for more than a day or two. Or super fresh. Next, sesame oil, very important. This one is also your main key secret ingredient. This is okonomiyaki sauce. So okonomiyaki is a Japanese uh, sort of cabbage pancake. Really, really delicious. They put this on top and it is super, super yum. Um, so we're going to use this, uh, as well as some furikake, which is a Japanese rice seasoning. You can find both of these in the uh, Japanese aisle of your Asian grocer, and also some spring onion as well. Not to mention some seasoned rice. If you can find fresh scallops still in their shell like this, that is absolutely what you want, because they're going to be super, super fresh, and you know that they haven't sort of sat around for a couple of days. Now, all we have to do to shuck this is literally get a, a nice smooth butter knife and we're going to poke it right up against the inside of the shell and we're gonna disconnect the muscle which is sitting right about here. I'm just gonna slide it in carefully. And that's him. Pop it open. Now you've got a couple of different parts of the scallop here. So these are the lips which you can, uh, you can use in like sort of fried rice or stir fry. Don't throw them away because they're really good. Um, this is the main bit of meat here that you want to keep. And right underneath here, uh, in there, that's the roe. So the roe can often be quite large. Um, this one was sort of out of season, so it's quite small, it's not big yet. All you have to do is just pull away the lips there. Let me get my knife get right under the bottom there and it'll all come off together. Simply put our thumb right in between the membrane and the big bit of muscle. Take it off. There's our skull. Give them a quick rinse and some salty water and that's good to go. Righto, we've got our scallops shucks, they're ready to go. I'm gonna to torch some straight up in the shell because they're gonna be delicious. Uh, and I also have my other fresh ones here. All we have to do to these scallops is literally slice them up. So I'm gonna get these, uh, just come straight in, in half like that. That's perfect. A little bit of pressure on. Not like that, but. Perfect. Got my scallops all sliced up. Magic sauce ready. Good. And now it's all just put in together. So we've got my seasoned rice here, it's still nice and warm. Now, this is sushi rice I'm using. I've seasoned it with uh, a bit of sushi seasoning and also some sesame oil. Beautiful. Just a couple of drops more. We love it. Then, can you give it a quick little torch? The aroma coming off that, it's like, I don't know if you've ever been to, to a sushi shop and they've got the blowtorch out and they're doing the uh, aburi sushi. Um, it's just, it's smoky, it's beautiful, it's rich. 
That's exactly what that smells like. So now all you have to do is make a little layer of scallops on the top. Just a, actually, tiny little drizzle of oil, which I'm just gonna rub around. Then, touch a sauce over the top. It smells so good already. Why do it again? So scallops have been torched, they are torched perfectly. We got a lot of nice caramelization on that uh, okonomiyaki sauce. I'm gonna drizzle just a touch more over the top. I forgot to mention, but this is actually one of the most important things. A uh, bit of kewpie mayo. Over the top like that. Next, our furikake, rice seasoning. A little over the top and then top with beautiful fresh spring onions I absolutely load up on these now have a look at that that took no time at all it was super super easy to make and it's gonna be fresh delicious seafood scallops you can't go wrong Now we have to torch our beautiful scallops in their shells. I'm going to get them up to the drain away with the blowtorch. Now I'm going to finish these off. A little bit of okonomiyaki sauce over the top. Now these scallops are going to be raw on the bottom, just beautifully blowtorched on the top. So they're still going to be sweet, they're going to be tender, not going to be overcooked at all. Heat that up a bit. Simply top with some green onions. They are going to be so, so good. And that's it. That's like the best way to eat scallops, I reckon. We've got some fresh torch ones, uh, we've got the beautiful rice dish there. That's sort of, this is sort of like a more entree. That's sort of something a little bit more substantial. So if you're gonna have dinner party, you had some fresh collops, try the rice dish because that's gonna be beautiful. Now the taste test. And try one of these scallops first. So good. Sweet. It's got the most beautiful texture. It's smoky, it's caramelized. It's fresh from the spring onions. Beautiful. Uh, I guess the Used to resist dons. Get a bit of rice, a bit of scallop. Unreal. It's smoky. It's creamy from the mayo. Beautiful texture from the scallop. Oh. <laughs> that is so good. Anyway, you guys should definitely give this a try at home. Um, you could even, if you didn't have any scallops, or if you didn't like scallops, 
you can just try really thin slices of fish. Um, I've done that before, it's beautiful. Um, otherwise, for all of these ingredients, head to your Asian grocer in the Japanese aisle. Um, you'll actually find a lot of really good things there. Um, and I'll chuck this with and I'll chuck this recipe up on the Off The Beaten Coast website, so if you guys really want to check it out, um, give it a go. Then it'll be there in the recipe section. And of course, if you do try it, don't forget to send me a photo because I love seeing you guys cook my recipes. So, beautiful, beautiful scallops, give them a go. I'm gonna try a good.